So I made a long tutorial on how I made this animation right here. So here's a short version for all of you with short attention spans. Model a paintbrush, then add a curve at the top and add new geometry nodes. Then use a mesh circle and distribute points on it. Then use the original curve as a instance, realize the instances and then add a set position node. Capture the position attribute before the curve is scattered. Use this as a offset and subtract the actual position. Use the spline parameter factor as the scale and adjust the shape of your brush with a float curve. You can use a vector multiply to spread out the brush in a certain direction. Then convert these curves to a mesh using a curve circle with low resolution as the profile. Add in another set position and use a noise texture in the offset to create a little bit more randomness in the shape. You can also use a trim curve to slightly randomize the length of the curves. Give the brush a PBR wood material. Use the color output of a noise texture and turn up the saturation by a lot with a hue saturation node. And mix it together with the wood color. Now we have some paint smudges. Do the same thing for the metal material. Let's create the material for the brush strands. In the geometry nodes, store a random value for every spline and store the spline parameter factor on the points. Use the random attribute to set the color of the strands. You can use the factor to darken the top a bit. Duplicate the BSDF shader. Make it the color of your paint. Use the factor again to create a transition between the two. In the geometry nodes, add in a trim curve to tr only trim up off the top. Then use a convex hole and join it together at the end of the node tree. Add in a subdivision and displace it with some noise again. You can also add a set shade smooth node. And use a scale elements node to put it more inside the strands. Then add in a set material and create a new paint material. Now parent all of the brush parts to a new empty. And add in the new curve we are going to use as a path. Add a follow path constraint to to the empty and make it follow our curve. Select the top handle of your brush spline and hook it to a new empty, so you can later animate the brush a bit. Get a PNG image of some brush strokes, import it as a plane and separate them into individual objects. Put these in their own collection and add a new geometry node setup to the path curve. Add a curve to points and use the stroke images as the instances. Then use the rotation and correct it with a rotate rotation node and control the density with the length. Fix the overlapping faces by randomizing their position slightly. You can also subdivide the images and add a little bit of real displacement in the shader. Then add in a gradient texture and use object coordinates of the brush empty. Rotate the gradient correctly and use a color ramp to create stronger contrast. Then subtract this gradient from the alpha of the image. Add some good lighting and animate your camera and we're done.